There is power in what we speak out. Joshua said, if you are not able to control your tongue, you will not be able to get to the promised land. He said this to the Israelites as they were in the wilderness. In my previous video, I talked about the Hittites and they stand for fear and intimidation. And today we're going to look at the Amorites. You're going to now metaphorically put yourself in the situation of the Israelites, like someone on a journey to the promised land. Where is your promised land? So on your way to the promised land, the Lord says you're going to meet seven different kinds of personalities. And so today our focus is on the Amorites. The Amorites are people who talk a lot. Actually, they are people who look down on others. They speak against someone to boast about themselves. They try to cast other people down or to murmur against people. Usually with the spirit of the Amorites, you're not able to progress when you're around them. They always try to tell you you cannot get to your promised land. You cannot fulfill what God has said about your life. And so if you look at Moses, Moses married a woman with a dark skin. And that spirit invaded, the spirit of the Amorites invaded the camp of, of the Israelites in such a way that they started murmuring against Moses' wife. And guess what God did? God actually dealt with all of them, including Miriam, Miriam and Aaron, who are the siblings of, of Moses. God brought his judgment upon them. So the lesson here is that we want to be very careful in terms of what we say with our mouth. Maybe the Lord may put you in a position of, of influence or put you in a position of control where you have authority over an individual or over a group of people. You want to be watchful in terms of what you say over these people. Another uh, characteristic of the spirit of the Amorite is envy and pride. So in this case, they felt they are always better off than uh, than the Israelites in the wilderness to an extent that I'm sure they told them look go back you people are descendants of, of slavery and we are better off than you in your personal life in my personal life I've encountered people like that and I'm sure you have too who would think that they are better off than you always remember the word of God has been spoken over your life that you will get to your promised land so you need to stay focused I am also trying every day in my life to identify any spirit pertaining to the Amorites. Is there something that is trying to bring me down? Is there a negative mindset? Is there a negative thought? Am I surrounded by negative people who have been influenced by the spirit of the Amorites? And once I identify that, I try to remove myself. One other thing about speaking over your life is Remembering that God is the first person who spoke into existence. He spoke everything into existence. And we are a manifestation of his glory. So it means that we can speak over our lives and speak good things into existence in our own destiny. We have to let go of whatever the Amorite spirit they have said over our lives. We have to pronounce the good things of God concerning our lives. If you look at um, the modern day Christian family, there are instances where this spirit has created division or what we might call the perverse spirit, you know, uh, creating individualism, creating hierarchy. And some people find it even difficult to differentiate the church from the world. But thank God for the Holy Spirit who gives us understanding and wisdom that will be able to cast out this spirit out of us, out of the body of Christ. For the word of God says that we are one body, united we stand. Also, when you look at how empty words are thrown, you know, at the children of God, instances where people say, oh, you, you will not amount to anything. Immediately, you are trying to throw the spirit of the vagabond, which I'm, which I'm thinking is connected to the Amorite spirit onto that person's life. And today we are going to pray that any evil word pronounced over us or anything connected to the spirit of the Amorites manifesting in our lives 
will be able to nullify it in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, O oh God, as your children, we present ourselves before you. We humble ourselves under the blood of Jesus, under the power and the authority of the Holy Ghost and the Trinity. Father, we say that, O oh God, renew your words over our destiny. Let every single word that you have concerning our lives come to pass. Any evil word issued against us, Father, we cancel it in the mighty name of Jesus. We nullify the works of the enemy. We come against evil conspiracies, the perverse spirit, the spirit of the Amorite, creating confusion, taking us back to slavery, taking us back to where we were once in bondage. We cancel it, we nullify it, and we speak your word of blessings. We speak your word of favor. We speak your word of breakthrough over our lives. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen, amen, amen.